Morning. Will the Great Lakes soon fall victim to the destructive appetite of a foreign fish? Here's News 4's Lindsay Schwartzwalder with more on today's special assignment. Lindsay. Well, Victoria and Joe, Asian carp were originally imported into the United States in the 1970s to clean catfish ponds. But when those fish farms flooded, the carp were transferred to the Mississippi River, and they've been multiplying ever since. If they make it to the Great Lakes in droves, it could threaten our fishing industry. You may recall our special assignment back in May on Asian carp, those huge, hungry, jumping fish. Since that report just two months ago, the fish have moved from here all the way to here. In the past three weeks, carp were found just south of Lake Michigan, which means the fish made it beyond the electrical barrier located near Chicago that was supposed to keep the fish out of the Great Lakes. Jennifer Nalbone at Great Lakes United says a handful of carp have even been spotted in Lake Erie, possibly dumped by people in the seafood trade. But there's no evidence of a large population, like there are in the Wabash and Mississippi rivers. But if the Wabash River were to flood, the carp would be transferred to the Maumee River, which feeds directly into Lake Erie, posing a major threat to our lake and its multi-billion dollar fishing industry. It will devastate the fishing industry. Uh, it will hurt our small businesses. And at this tough economy, the last thing we need is something to destroy the way people provide for their families. Asian carp can be up to four feet long and weigh 100 pounds. They are an invasive species that was accidentally introduced to the Mississippi River Basin 20 years ago and have thrived ever since. They're uh, extremely hungry fish. They eat a tremendous amount of, of algae and plankton, which is the basis of the food chain. So what you might see is actually a collapse of the food chain in Lake, Lake Erie. The Asian carp in areas that they have invaded have outcompete native fish species. At a congressional hearing, lawmakers considered completely separating the water between the Mississippi River and Great Lakes basins, so they never mix. It's widely accepted that the permanent solution to this Asian carp crisis is making sure they can't swim into the Great Lakes from the Mississippi River Basin. Some environmentalists believe this project will take years, and by then, Asian carp will have won the battle, leaving fishermen with everything to lose. A congressional hearing is being held today to hopefully move forward with the plan to completely separate the Mississippi River and Great Lakes basins. The pros outweigh the cons to perform this separation, and that's just how bad this Asian carp crisis could get. Now, it's just a race against time. Mm. All right, the invasion aside, they are crazy looking fish. Why are they jumping around like that? You know, it's really interesting to watch the video of all these, and you can see those on YouTube and, of course, in my package here. And uh, the reason why they jump several feet out of the water is the actual actually get startled by the boat engines and they've been there have been countless reports of fishermen actually getting injured from these fish as they leap out of the water and News 4 will continue to follow this story as it evolves in the coming months. Yeah, that's some dangerous stuff. It really is, yeah. All right, thanks for coming mm -hmm. in this morning. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Lindsay.